few are the spiders that evoke more fear in people than the tarantula. A species that is probably more feared than the tarantula is the black widow. Well, this is mostly a result of fear-inducing legends and myths which have been around for centuries and which, unfortunately, is being aided by Hollywood as tarantulas have been featured as villains in a handful of movies. But are tarantulas really as deadly as the movies and myths would have us believe? There's only one way to find out. Grab your popcorn and stay glued as we explore the world of these legendary spiders. Did you know that the species of spiders we generally refer to as tarantulas are not the actual tarantula? In the strict sense, the name applies to a particular species of spider known as Lycosa tarantula, or more commonly referred to as wolf spider. It is a small spider native to southern Europe, including Taranto, a city in Italy. It is from this city the spider got its now world-famous name. How did the name tarantula become a generic name for several species of spiders? History has it that European explorers first came across the tarantula in southern Europe, where peasants erroneously finger the tarantula as the culprit of every deadly spider bite they get. It is most probable that the actual culprit would have been the notorious Black Widow. When these explorers came across even much bigger and much hairier species of spiders in South America, they were all labeled tarantulas, and it remained so till today. The spiders we often refer to as tarantulas belong to the family Theraphosidae with over 800 known species. Tarantulas come in various colors, but the commonest are brown, black, striped, and those brightly colored. Like other spiders, they have a body divisible into two sections, the cephalothorax and the abdomen, eight legs, eight eyes, and two prominent fangs. Unlike other spider species, however, they are often quite hairy and sometimes use this distinctive feature to their advantage. Tarantulas usually weigh 28 to 85 grams, or 1 to 3 ounces, and are 5 to 9 centimeters, or 2 to 3.5 inches long. Female tarantulas usually get much larger than their male counterparts. The largest tarantula subspecies is called the Goliath bird eater. It can reach a body length of up to 13 centimeters, 5 inches, with a leg span of 30 centimeters, almost 12 inches, and weight up to 200 grams. That's about 7 ounces. Tarantulas can be found in all continents except Antarctica. South America is home to the majority of known species. In North America, they are often found in southern and southwestern states. In these places, they prefer habitats with high temperature, arid lands, and rainforests. Most tarantulas live in ground burrows, which they may burrow or dig themselves. Others live in webbed tree burrows, caves, bark of trees, cliffs, and sometimes in the leaves of pineapple and bananas. They have been in existence for over 350 million years during which they have evolved and developed suitable mechanisms to suit their various environments. One of the amazing facts about the tarantula is their longevity. Males have a shorter lifespan compared to females. A male tarantula has a lifespan of 2 to 10 years, depending on the species. Once they reach the age of sexual maturity, the lucky ones usually don't live a few months before passing away. The unlucky ones get cannibalized after mating, though this is rare among tarantulas. The female tarantula may live up to an amazing 30 years. That is incredibly long by comparison with that of the male. Remember, postcoital cannibalism, or the female eating the male after mating, is rare among tarantulas, though it exists. The male tarantula is actually a perfect gentleman when it comes to courtship. He is often the one you will come across wandering around, especially during summer, when he is in search of a mate. 
Once the female's burrow is located through the scent she leaves behind, he spins a web which he sprays with seed. Like a perfect gentleman, he then gently knocks on the door of the female's burrow by tapping on the silken web which the female constructed at the entrance of the burrow. This alerts the female of his presence, after which he performs a series of courtship displays. If the female is not interested, she will ignore him, or worse, try to eat him. If he is accepted, she'll mate with him. Once the male is done, he'll leave immediately. Otherwise, if he lingers around, he might get eaten. The fact is, upon attaining sexual maturity, whether he mates or not, his days become numbered. The tarantula is a carnivore. Small species will often settle for crickets, bugs, caterpillars, grasshoppers, beetles, cicadas, and sometimes other small tarantulas and species of spiders. The bigger tarantulas, such as the goliath bird eater, would often hunt larger prey such as toads, lizards, frogs, snakes, rats, bats, mice, birds, and their hatchlings. It feeds by injecting its venom with its venomous fangs. This paralyzes the prey and afterwards, the injective digestive enzymes help liquefy it for easy ingestion. While hunting, the tarantula sometimes spins just one thread of silk web to act as a trip line or a prey alert system. It doesn't snare, it hunts the old-fashioned way using its venom. On the other way around, tarantulas have several natural predators. These include birds, lizards, fishes, tarantula hawks, which is actually a wasp and not a bird, coyotes, monkeys, snakes, centipedes, scorpions, foxes, and of course other tarantulas. But their most deadly enemy are tarantula hawks and humans. The tarantula is not listed on the International Union for Conservation of Nature's list. However, there are some tarantula species that are listed as endangered in their countries of location. For example, the U.S. lists five Sri Lankan species of tarantula as endangered under the Endangered Species Act, ESA, 1973 as amended. It became effective on the 30th of August, 2018. This action became necessary because tarantulas have become popular household pets and the exotic pet trade had begun to drastically reduce the population of these spiders. Since tarantulas are common household pets, it follows that they are not so dangerous to humans. Unlike their mythical reputation which depicts them as having a lethal bite, tarantulas are indeed venomous, but their venom is by no means lethal to humans unless it causes an allergic reaction, which in itself is rare. The tarantula would rarely bite a human with the use of venom. To a human being, the venom is mild, no more than that of a honeybee sting, but to their prey, it is often deadly. Even if their bite is not deadly for us, it still does hurt a lot. In fact, tarantulas are shy with humans and would naturally run away. If cornered or threatened, however, they would go into defensive mode. This often involves a show of aggression in which the tarantula stands on its hind legs and raises its two front legs in order to appear bigger. If the intruder does not back down, certain species, excluding those in Africa and Asia, would rub their legs on the underside of their abdomen, throwing the urticating hair, called bristles, at the intruder with fairly good aim. To animals such as mice, this could be very deadly. To a human, it would only cause mild irritation. Hence, there's really no need to fear these hairy spiders if not provoked. Tarantulas are a magnificent species of spiders. If you never knew, they play very important roles in conserving their habitat as they keep the growth and spread of insects in check. There's really no need to be afraid of these gentle giants, though you may have to be careful in handling it in case one wanders into your home as the bristles could cause irritation. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, ring the bell notification icon so you never miss a video again.